In spite of a collapse, Kent still bossed the opening day of their LV County Championship match with Glamorgan at the Swaylek Stadium in Cardiff. Batting first, Kent lost Daniel Bell Drummond in the second over, Michael Hogan striking with just his second delivery of the game. The visitors came into this match on the back of a very good batting performance at home to Lancashire last week, while it seems an age since Glamorgan took to the field, having not played any games since they also drew with Lancashire two and a half weeks ago. South African Sean Dixon looked to make the most of any rustiness from the home attack. His partner at the crease was Rob Key, who struck a very pleasing century, his only one of this season, in his last innings, and he simply picked up where he'd left off in Canterbury, enjoying some nice late summer conditions on a pitch which appeared at least to be a good one to bat on, Key played some delightful cricket shots as he and Dixon put their side on top in the morning session. A boundary off Andrew Salter had Key at his half century off his 70th delivery, an 8-4 taking the 36-year-old to what was the 129th 50 of his first class career. 53 of which he'd previously converted into 100. He may not have always been an ever-present this summer, but he still clearly has plenty to offer. Dixon, meanwhile, is starting out his career, and he too was at a half-century in the first session, one which occupied 78 balls. The 21-year-old has played the majority of his cricket for Northerns in South Africa and has a first-class best of 173 for them, so shots like these should not have come as any surprise as he took his stand with Key to 122. Dixon would have been disappointed to get out right before lunch, toe-ending a wide ball from David Lloyd to be caught behind by acting captain Mark Wallace for 59. So Kent emerged from the lunch break with a total on 127 for two. Sam Northeast, who made his best score of the summer of 139 last time out, also looked in very good form again. He made sure that the hard work of Dixon and Key did not go to waste, as he played freely from the off, working the ball through the gaps to pick up plenty of early boundaries, which kept his side just where they wanted to be at this stage of proceedings. Key had the occasional moment of fortune, but also continued along his merry way as he neared his second successive century. He's left his best until last this year, and had his side beyond 200, with the runs coming at more than four per over. For the second match in a row, it looked as if the visitors were going to amass a very large score with the bat. But having got to 94, Key just got his feet in the wrong place and edged Lloyd to Wallace to end a stand of 85 with Northeast, who just completed a 50 off 83 balls when Joe Denley gave Lloyd his third wicket with a nick to first slip. That had Kent on 230 for four, but Darren Stevens looked in feisty form from the moment he came in. He drove the ball well to quickly get moving to take his team to a total of 259 for four at T. The visitors very handily placed before, from nowhere, ten wickets fell in the final session of the day's play. The first of those was Northeast for 56, as he was squared up by Hogan to offer Wallace another catch the 1,014th dismissal of his career in all competitions. Callum Haggett then became the first of four Kent men to fall for a duck, Hogan getting one through his defences. Kent had slipped to 275 for seven when Ryan Davis was also out without scoring, Hogan involved again by finding the edge of the young keeper's bat. The innings was now kept going by Stevens, who eased this ball from Lloyd over the rope to race to a 50 off only 43 balls, an innings containing nine fours and that one maximum. Alas for him, the collapse continued around him. Matt Coles was LBW to Graham Wag, duck number three out of the way. And after Stevens, who'd muscled his way to 64, slogged Craig Mercedes to Salter, just after the 300 had been made for the batting team. Wag disturbed Matt Hun's stumps as he was another to fall without troubling the scorers. From 212 for two, Kent had slipped to 309 all out. Hogan the pick of the bowlers with four for 51. Glamorgan had 15 overs left in the day to make the most of that collapse, but James Kettleborough was trapped in front for four by Coles in the first over of the reply. 
19-year-old Jeremy Lawler, whose only other first-class appearance was against Glamorgan for Cardiff University in April, was then bowled by Hun for a duck. Coles bagged his 63rd championship wicket of this year by having Colin Ingram caught behind for 20 at 35 for 3. And then, just before the close, Lloyd on 16 chipped Adam Riley to Stevens at mid-on. Glamorgan then ended the day on 65 for 4, a thoroughly entertaining one, bringing us 374 runs and 14 wickets. The Welshman will begin the second morning 244 runs behind.